is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 51 of Trading to Glory. I took a little bit of a break from Trading to Glory. I was uploading just normal trading videos, but we're going to get back into, uh, into the swing of things. We're not going to have daily uploads for the Trading to Glory, but expect a couple of them to come out every single week, uh, especially with Footmiss coming up. We've got a lot to do, so we're going to start it off with marquee matchups. Now, I would suggest waiting until later in the week to do marquee matchups, but I had a lot of these guys in my club, and I'm impatient and want to open packs right now, so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these marquee matchups. So let's go ahead and submit these. We've got STAC versus Amiens C. Uh, SC, and all I had to buy out of this, I believe, was this guy right here. That's the only card I had to buy. It was 700 coins there, and then I was actually able to sell one of the players from S-Stack, uh, the goalkeeper, the, the rare bronze goalkeeper. I sold him for 2,400 coins, so overall, I got that pack, uh, which is a small gold players pack, and I was able to get uh, about 2,000 coins profit from doing the SBC as well uh, before I even opened the pack, so that's dope. Then we've got Frankfurt versus Schalke. Uh, we've got, uh, we had to buy pretty much m most of these players. I had a couple of them in the club already, but we had to buy most of these guys. So definitely was the most expensive one, but still only going to cost you about 6,000 to 7,000 coins. And you get a jumbo premium gold pack in return. Hopefully we can get ourselves a team of the group stage card out of these packs. Then we've got a small rare gold players pack. Uh, we've got, uh, most of these guys were in our club already, especially the silvers there. I had to buy a couple of them, but I think the only card I bought was this guy and this guy. I believe those were the only two cards I bought. And then maybe the left back. Yeah, the left back as well. So, only spent about 2,000 coins on that. You get a small rare gold player's pack, which is actually pretty decent. It's like half of a 50k pack, uh, but then they throw in a silver as well. So, it's pretty good. Um, then we got Club Brug versus Anderlecht, and the only player that I bought out of these were the four gold players. All the rest of the uh, cards were in my club, including Wesley, uh, and I was able to get all of these silvers and bronzes out of the club. So pretty cheap for that, about 2,000 coins for me there. You get a small mixed rare players pack, so hopefully we can pack something decent. And overall, we get a 25k pack for completing marquee matchups. Currently, Team of the Group stages are in packs, guys. So... If you guys do enjoy this series and want to see more Team of the uh, Group Stage videos uh, and more Trading the Glory videos, drop a like on the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's shoot for 685 likes on this video. And we're going to start it off with the 15K pack. Can we get a board drop on the first pack? I don't think that was a board drop. It is not. We'll go ahead and skip through it and see if we can get through these packs pretty quickly. So we've got a lot to talk about in terms of footmiss. Uh, I've had some questions that I want to address um, from the previous video, which was the Footmas Trading Guide. And if you guys haven't seen that video, watch that video. I'm not joking around. It'll be worth it for both of us, all right? Go watch that video. Um, it'll help you out a ton. Let me go ahead and send those to the club. I'm going to go ahead and quick sell the rest. I have my transfer list is nearly full. I sold two items just in case I wanted to send something over there. Uh, but ultimately, my transfer list is, is jam-packed right now. I'm going to sell some into the player of the month. That's a board drop. What is it? Come on, France. Hi, eh? Ribbery. Okay, okay. Not a walkout, but a good pack right there. Ribbery in the marquee matchups in our second pull. That is pretty decent. Definite profit on this SBC already. GG, that card will be going up in footmiss as well. Very nice pack. Um, very, very nice pack. Anything else in there? That was our 25k pack. Uh, definitely a good pull. I'm going to send everything to my club uh, just so I don't send anything to the transfers. But I'm very happy with that. We're already making a lot of profit. We still have three packs left. Let's move on to the small gold players pack, which is only one rare card. So I can't expect much out of this. I'm just going to go ahead and skip it uh, because there's really not much of a chance of getting anything out of this. So we get our, ourselves a Malik. Um, and I'll send everybody to the club there. We've got a small rare gold players pack. This could be something decent. We'll save that for last. A small rare mixed players pack. I mean, we could get something, but it's unlikely. Let's see if we get a board drop here. Come on. It's not going to be a board drop. We're just going to get two low rated rare, uh, gold par cards. And then a couple of rare bronzes, a couple of rare silvers as well. That Bas Besiktas guy actually might sell for something given the fact that the Besiktas SBC is decent so I'll probably sell that or use that in an SBC on a later day small rare gold players pack come on they're all rare we could get a board drop here it, it, it's a good chance but if we don't it is gonna be a board drop it is gonna be a board drop not a special card come on Netherlands Cam Wesley Schneider it's always Wesley Schneider always if it's Netherlands you can just kind of count on it being Wesley Schneider um 
I'm glad I kept my transfer list open because I... Oh, we got back Yoko. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, because I already have Wesley Snyder in my club. So we got to send him the transfer list. We got back Yoko there. He goes for like 5,000 coins, so that's not bad. Or he, he did go for 5k. He might be like 3k now because of uh, the market crash. Yeah, he, he dropped a lot. But uh, still decent for an 82 rated card. We also got Raul Albiol in that pack as well. So Moving on from the marquee matchups. Had a pretty good pull there with Ribery. And now I am here with uh, Run the Foot Market. Nick, you guys know a lot of him. A lot of you guys are already subbed to him. You can check him out in the description down below. But... I have an important topic to talk about, and I wanted a different perspective. Um, so I got uh, Run the Foot Market on to talk about what is going to happen really with these 83s, 84s, the informs that have been really invested in, and what really his plan is going in to Footmiss. Uh, we know that Footmiss is, well, very likely to drop on the 15th. We know yep. the promotion is going to happen. Uh, so let me know what you're going to be doing with uh, your investments, what your investments are, and what your, your plan is. Yeah, so I have a lot of uh, 83, 84 rated golds, mostly 84 rated golds. I think the uh, the profit potential is a little bit higher there. The 83s could probably max out around 3.5, 4K. Um, they're already at 2K, but the 84s are still kind of, they're really good buys at that 3K rate. Even at four, they're not bad because I think we saw them jump last year um, all the way, I think, up to eight. And I think if you get, like, repeated really good SBCs with, like, 85 team rating um, and the combination of, obviously, we're probably going to get another Icon SBC uh, in the next two weeks and Team of the Week SBC, which is a big maybe. With the combination of all that stuff, there is a slight chance if Footmas does go as we're all planning and all those other added variables that... 84s could get close to their max price range at 10k and the guys with good nations and good links even hitting really close into the nines that's all of everything goes as planned i'm planning on holding all that because i see so many potentials for them to be needed uh in the next three weeks at, at minimum i think they're gonna hit at least six for one of these things um so i'm, I'm sitting here with way too many of these and then regarding the, the informs like i think the inform situation and i've been a little bit like kind of not by but this year it's a little bit different with the informs because we do have icon SBCs uh, that are keeping their values up. The floor on the informs is different. Where last year, after SBCs, when they weren't needed, they would drop back down to 15, 14, 16, that kind of area for 84s, and the 83s would hit 12 or 13. This year they're consistently staying up in value because they're needed across icon SBCs that are available for the full year. Uh, so people are doing these sometimes, you know, somebody will come on one day and do one SBC. And a lot of these icon SBCs, you need like anywhere from like three or four at minimum to nine or 10 at most uh, to complete the full icon. So those are keeping those cards up in value. So it's going to be really interesting to see if the market and, and users are still interested in doing these SBCs now that the informs are already still up in value, which means they will probably go up the same if everyone has the same interest level as last year's flip miss. They will go up the same in rise, which I think informs at least like 15k those 83s 84s last year so it'll be interesting to see if like because like kind of 14 15 to 30 will they go 20 to 35 or 40 or will they stop you know right now they're at 30k so i don't know how much higher they're gonna go i could see the 84s maybe maxing at 40 45 it really all depends on the actual player that we get for foot foot miss you know yeah, like every depends day. completely on the player and i think something that ea you know, if anybody was around for foot miss last year you know that they were not cheap to do very expensive SBCs. It'll be interesting to see because they're already the inform prices are already so much higher. Maybe EA is going to be a little bit not easier with the requirements, but obviously maybe requiring a, a you know some of them like I, I think the roof here or something you need like two or three informs like some crazy or like pretty bang average cards. Um, maybe they go a little bit easier on the inform requirement because they already know that you know, they're already up a little bit in value. And I think it's really interesting to note as well that we're getting so many more A1 rated informs this year. Um, All right, so I don't mean to uh, interrupt you here, but we got some breaking news. Uh, actually, AFCON Salah, and this is weird because we're actually recording right now. This isn't like a news podcast, but we do have some breaking news. Mohamed Salah was just added to Concepts. 88-rated uh, striker Salah for AFCON, it looks like. Um, really? That is uh, unexpected on a random Tuesday night, to be honest. Um, is it really? Yeah, 88 rated Salah on concepts. First, well, first thing, could that could that possibly pl be player of the month though? If you think about it. Um, uh, who knows, man? That guy's gonna be a 99 rated in three months. 
yeah, that uh, he he keeps getting upgrades. Well, um, moving back to uh, what we were talking about, we'll probably get into the, that Sala later in the video. But uh, moving back to what we were talking about is, yeah, if they do drop these SBCs, I 100% agree with you. If it's what we expect, if it's similar to last year, these cards are going to have no choice but to go up in price. Um, what we could see is a lot of people selling on the first day, on the second day, on the third day, uh, you know, until like maybe the 19th of December, and then we hit the 20th and the 21st, 22nd of December, and uh, everybody who had invested has already sold their investments, and these cards are really, really going up. I definitely, if you guys have faith that EA are going to drop similar SBCs from last year, hold your cards until later. Hold it till the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, of December to sell your investments because they're only going to continue to go up. They're repetitive uh, SBCs, very, very similar uh, SBCs. Some of them are, you know, as last year we saw, uh, as as large as Aubameyang where you needed like an 86 rated uh, Bundesliga squad. Some of them are pretty normal, like an 83 rated just squad with, you know, one in form. Uh, pretty simple like that. Uh, but the only other thing that I can think of is what if they don't do what we are expecting? EA, they are one of the biggest uh, you know, businesses in terms of, of, of trying to suck as much money out of their consumers as possible. And considering SBCs don't really give them more money, do they want to maybe yeah. do a Footmas squad? We have seen a, a, the Footmas cards in the, the database. We know Footmas is happening. What they could do is a Footmas squad in packs to get people to buy more FIFA points and yeah. some SBCs, kind of a mixture but ultimately, that would be less SBCs, and maybe they'll do something similar. I, I know you mentioned this earlier, uh, similar to FIFA 17's uh, Halloween promotion, where they had these Halloween cards in packs, and then you needed the Halloween cards for the SBCs. So something similar to that, which could really, really hurt the investments. Uh, so the other option, other than holding till the 22nd and the 23rd to sell, is selling on Thursday, waiting to see what happens on Friday, and if something uh, along those lines of, of, of causing panic uh, happens, then, then prices will absolutely crash. So you could be safe and, and sell on Wednesday and Thursday. Get that profit and get out. Uh, ultimately, if you do have discard team of the group stage cards, Hold on to those. Uh, if you have t uh, discard informs, like 81 rated, hold on to those. But when you when it comes to the 83 rated informs, uh, and I mean, when you're getting up to the Pastores and the Aspas informs, they're pretty safe investments. Those are used in Icon yeah. SBCs. Um, the Parejo, you guys remember him from, I don't know, it was like Team of the Week 6 or something. We invested in Parejo for 24K. He went extinct at 50k come the next icon sbc that's an 84 rated card look at aspas we were picking him up as a 86 rated striker la liga spanish card two ratings higher than parejo and we were picking him up for about 40,000 coins that's a safe investment holding it until the next icon sbc and you're safe there but when it comes to these 83s and 84s uh there's just so many people that have invested in them um and that's why I really yeah. wanted to get you on 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 uh, the video because you kind of have a, a different perspective or a different route as me because I'm yeah. still considering selling uh, on, on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, while no, you it's the have, same. Uh, it's the same thing to do. Like hold. a lot of people are going to start to buy up. I think even closer who didn't, and they're going to buy already on this hype, and they're going to hype it more. So if you guys are seeing five ten percent on a card and you're not positive the event's going to happen, go ahead and sell. Take the money. Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Yep. Uh, I agree, and those are kind of like the uh, two different perspectives, two different options that you guys can go with. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not going to herd you like sheep. You guys make your own decisions. You guys are responsible for any profit you make or any profit you lose. That's not me. I'm just here to help you out, and that's the same thing for on the foot market. So thank you so much for uh, coming on to the video. I really do appreciate it. No man. worries, bro. Thanks for having me, man. All right, guys, check him out in the info section down below the description. Down below, I'll have a link uh, towards the top of the description. You guys can go ahead and subscribe to him as well. To finish off the video, we're going to be talking about that concept Sala that we saw a couple minutes ago. Now, that concept concept is gone. EA have fixed it. The leak is gone. But we saw it. We know it's coming. It's an 88 rated striker Sala card. Now we know that he's nominated for player of the month and he is the front runner to win it. There's simply not much chance for anybody else to win player of the month this month. Obviously Raheem Sterling had a good month but nothing in comparison to Sala. And then if you wanted to go with a defender you could go with Ashley Young. He did have a good 
a uh, good month for Manchester United, but ultimately Salah just blows everyone out of the water. But we kind of saw that with Harry Kane and Aguero, where Aguero definitely had the better stats, but Harry Kane ended up winning. Now, you could argue it's because Harry Kane is English and they favor that in the Premier League, which is true. We have seen that in the past, but ultimately uh, Raheem Sterling, I guess, being um, English as well, could give him a better chance. Ultimately, it's not the point. I don't think that this Salah is going to be in the SBCs. Now, the question is, is that a Salah player of the month card that got leaked? Well, no, it can't be because the voting hasn't even ended by the time that that came out. So they haven't picked it yet. EA don't know who the winner is yet. And I don't even think the Premier League know who the winner is yet for player of the month. They haven't finished the voting yet. So ultimately, since the voting's not done, that definitely isn't the player of the month solid. So what is it? It's probably the African player of the year. Now in previous years, we've seen Yaya Torre and then Riyad Mahrez and, and Aubameyang. And this year, Salah won player of the year for the African player of the year. Now, we haven't seen an SBC in the past. We did not see an SBC for Mahrez last year. I believe it was Mahrez who won it last year. Uh, we didn't see an SBC for him. But since we do have now a concept of that Salah, I can't think of anything else that it could be other than the AFCON team of the tournament. But if it was the AFCON team of the tournament, we'd see leaks for all of the AFCON team of the tournament. We'd see some uh, Senegal players. Uh, we'd see a lot of other players as well that have been leaked. It was only Salah. So that is leading me to believe it's going to be the African player of the year card. Will it be an SBC? I don't think so, because if it was an SBC, that would not only overlap with what we expect to be a player of the month Sala, but it would also just be a ridiculous SBC to drop right now, right when player of the month's dropping, right when foot miss is dropping. I think that our best bet is that's going to be in packs. I think that as you guys remember in FIFA 17, I think I'll compare it to, remember that right mid from uh, France from Brighton? His name was Knockart. He won a uh, Player of the Year, I believe, for the EFL Championship. And when he won that Player of the Year, he just went straight into PAX as a award winner. I think that we could see something very similar for this 88-rated Salah. It's about to be a very, very hectic week for Salah trading. If you guys have investments, sell into the hype. I did mention that I might sell my Salahs tonight, but ultimately he has only risen a couple hundred coins because I think people recognize that it's probably not going to be an SBC. Uh, but ultimately, we, we just do not know yet, and I'm going to hold my Salah for, I think, another two days, maybe. Maybe another one day. I'll sell it maybe Wednesday or Thursday night. Um, I don't want to wait all the way till Thursday night, maybe Thursday morning. I think Wednesday night and Thursday morning is probably when I'm going to sell my Salas. Ultimately, that's for Player of the Month investing, not for this new 88 Salah. It also questions, will the Player of the Month Salah be 89 rated or will it be 87 rated? I have no idea. And I also have no idea for this OTW because um, we do not see the OTWs upgraded for Player of the Month. We are not going to see them upgraded for anything but Team of the Group stage, for informs, for man of the match, and for hero cards. That's all that upgrades the uh, OTW. So do not panic by an OTW Sala. And I think I'm going to leave it on that until we have more information on this Sala business, on these Sala leaks. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to have a double upload for you guys today, so be on the lookout for that. And hopefully you are enjoying the return of the Trading to Glory series. If you made it to the end of the video, comment your favorite vegetable in the comment section below. That's all I'll ask just to figure out who makes it to the end of the videos. Comment your favorite vegetable. And also drop a like on the video. I don't remember what the like was earlier. Did I said it like 685. I can't remember. Go ahead and drop a like on the video. It doesn't matter what the likes are. Just drop it and add to the like. Well, that helps out me. That helps out just me. But that's, you know, it, it, it helps me. Don't you guys want me to succeed? All right? That's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.